Hello and welcome to Mobile Testing YouTube channel. You could be a writer, homemaker, teacher or anyone without technical knowledge. But you always wanted to have a website to share your amazing stories to the whole world. But not sure how to get started. And to add to that you also assume that only a technical person can create a website. Give me a few minutes of your time to prove you wrong. You could do it along with me and have a fully functional website in a few minutes. To make this whole process simple, I have done two things. One, I have created an Amazon AWS account. This will give you free hosting on a T2 micro instance for one year. I have also bought a domain name which is moviesforecast.com. Let me load that and show you. You could see that this is currently not functional. We are going to make this work. Let's get started. From the menu bar, click on services and choose EC2. From the left side list, click on instances. Click on launch instance. Choose AWS marketplace and search light speed. Click on the option which reads WordPress with Lightspeed Catch. You can see the pricing here. Click on continue and then choose the free tier option. Click on configure instance details and then enable this protect against accidental termination option. Click on Add Storage. It's currently set to 8 GB. 8 GB is sufficient for a WordPress website. Click on Add Tags. And then click on Configure Security Group. And then click on Review and Launch. And finally click on Launch button. Click on Create New Pair and then give it a name. And then Click on download key pair and then choose launch instance. Wait for a few minutes for the instance to get booted. Again click on services and then choose EC2 and then running instances. You could see that the instance which we launched is in pending state. This will turn to running state in a few minutes time. Wait for a few minutes till the status checks are completed. Finally you can see two of two checks completed. Now we can move on to next step. Click on Elastic IPs from the left side menu and then choose Allocate Elastic IP and then click on Allocate. The Elastic IP has been allocated. Let us associate this Elastic IP address with our current instance. Click on the instance and you will automatically see your instance over there. Click on associate. Once this step is completed, let us copy the go back to instances and then copy the IP address of the instance which is 3.6.145.58. Go to your domain name provider and then click on add a record. So my website is moviesforecast.com and the IP address is 3.6.145.58 and give the TTL as 7200 and click on add record. Come back to instances and open your terminal. Remember we have downloaded a file 
in the last step of before launching the instance. I've copied that file to my desktop. You can see that file over here which is aws.pem. Run this following command in your terminal chmod 400 aws.pem which is the file name and then click on enter. Once that is done, come back to aws and then copy the public DNS. I have pasted this following line in the description. Please make use of it. So the first thing is the path of my PEM file which is users desktop and then the file name and then it should be followed by ubuntu at and the value which we copied from AWS. Copy this whole command, go back to terminal and then paste it and then click on enter. Now you can see that we have successfully logged in into the instance. Once we are here, this is asking for our domain name. In my case, it is moviesforecast.com. Let me copy that and then paste it over here. Click on enter. Choose Y. Enter Y in the keyboard and then hit enter option. Click on capital N and then choose enter Y option and then hit enter one more time. Wait for a few minutes for the update process to get completed. Once you see 100% success, type sudo su and then copy paste this command. I have pasted all the commands in the video description. Please make use of it. And then the final command is this. Scroll to the bottom and you can see that currently the IP address is something different than my domain name. Click on I in your keyboard so that you can edit this file. Click on backspace and then let's paste my domain name over here which is moviesforecast.com. Similarly you can see that in one more place the same incorrect value is there. Remove the IP and then paste the domain name. And the last place is here. Let us remove this also and then paste the domain name. You have to do it in three places on this file. Now click on escape key in the keyboard and then choose colon wq and exclamatory mark and then click on enter option. Once this is completed, let's restart the web servers. The command to restart the web server is Clear the terminal, paste the following command in your terminal. This will stop the server. Again, let's start it. Now let us go back to the domain name which is moviesforecast.com and then try to load it. If your domain name takes a long time to load, connect to a different network like uh, mobile data in your iPhone uh, to the Mac or change the network and then try to reload the website again. Once it is done, you can see the WordPress installation process. Click on continue. Give the site a title. So I'm going to give movies forecast. You can choose any username. I'm going to give movies forecast again. And WordPress has suggested a password. Keep a backup of this. In the email address field give your personal email id and then click on install wordpress save the password if you want 
so that it is easy to access the admin page in future. Now you can see that WordPress installation has completed successfully. Let's go ahead and log in. I'm clicking on login. You can see that we have a fully functional website. Let me go to an incognito window and then show you what is available in this website. Once we load the website, you can see we have a fully functional WordPress website ready in a few minutes time. Thanks for watching this video. Please try this out on your own. I have pasted all the commands which I have used in this video in the video description. Please make use of them. Again, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.